What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Fragrance Attorney. I am stoked to be back here with you today. Today we are talking about one of my favorite categories as far as fragrances goes, aquatics. Stuff that smells watery, it's got an ozonic feel to it, makes you feel like you're at the ocean, at the beach. Man, I love that stuff. I live down here in Southern California and the beach is just a big part of the lifestyle down here. So you know I gotta love my watery, fresh, aquatic scents. So here's gonna be 10 of my absolute best that I recommend that you guys check out. Let's get it started here with the cheapest on this list, one that you may have looked over many times when passing it at the rack store because you just didn't think much about it, and I'm guilty of that too. I'm talking about Paris Hilton for men. A really watery, cucumber, kind of a tea vibe that you're gonna get with this one. Decent performance and semi-unique as far as what stuff comes out today. This one was more of a scent profile that was popular in the 90s. Doesn't smell like a 90s fragrance per se. I just feel like they were doing more of this back then as far as aquatics go. So you may stand out by wearing this one today. I think I got this 100 mil for 20 bucks. So you're gonna get a great price here. Uh, the bottle and cap and atomizer, you know, it's something special, but it is a very refreshing scent profile, very watery with a nice cucumber touch. So if you like cucumber, you're gonna probably enjoy this one. Uh, if you don't like cucumber, you may wanna skip this one. And spoiler alert, not a Cavoyage is not on this list. I know you guys are sick of hearing about that one, so it's not on this list, but instead we're gonna go with Paris Hilton for men as our ultra cheapy aquatic. The next one up we have is Abercrombie and Fitch. First instinct together. First instinct together, guys. Really nice, powerful fragrance here that is also very affordable. Has a nice orange blossom though, which is typically found in women's perfume. So it does kind of give it this unisex vibe to it a little bit, but it is at the end of the day made for men, I believe, or maybe it is unisex with the name together. I'm not 100% sure. Just something to be aware of as you go into it, but it does have a really nice, powerful sweetness to it. So performance and projection on this one is very strong. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck here with this fragrance. And it starts off really sweet and that kind of dies down as the sweetness wears off as time goes on and settles into a really nice aquatic watery base. Really versatile fragrance, really appealing and even strong enough to work in the winter. So I would even caution you about wearing this in the really hot days. It may be a little bit cloying because of that sweetness, but it is a great aquatic fragrance at the end of the day. That's Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct together. Let's keep it going now with another really affordable pick and these are ranked from my least favorite to most favorite this time. Davidoff Cool Water Wave, really fresh, fresh fragrance here. $25 I got for this 200 ml, and at that price, it's really a steal. Don't be afraid to overspray this one. It can't be overdone, and I'm gonna have a hard time finding someone that doesn't like the way that this one smells. I get a fresh fabric softener kind of vibe from this one, and it does have a little bit of uniqueness with the Sichuan pepper in there. That gives it its character that makes it stand out from the rest of the pack. And overall, this is just very fresh and smells kind of similar to Invictus Aqua. If you took Invictus Aqua and mixed it with a little bit of Cool Water, the original, that's what you would get with Cool Water Wave. Perfect for the summer. This is one that I would recommend you wearing on the very, very hot days. It doesn't have a sweet, uh, cloying nature to it like the first instinct together. So the versatility is off the chain here, above average performance, and one that you can definitely overspray with cool water wave, really love that one. Next one up we have is Coach Blue. Coach Blue, guys, I would say this is the most aquatic of the Coach for Men line. Uh, you could also go with Coach for Men, the original, or you could go with Coach Green. Those are nice freshies as well, but as far as aquatic fragrances go, Coach Blue is gonna be the most aquatic of the bunch, the most ozonic of the bunch. It's got a nice juniper berry note here. So if you're familiar with Rojas Loam, this is, I would say, a more youthful approach to Rojas Loam. So if you're familiar with that profile, this is a more youthful take on that scent DNA. And it's mostly the juniper berry that carries that similarity between the two. Really good performance for my skin at least, and above average projection, this one, it can be a little bit overpowering. I think this one's kind of a dark horse in the fact that you don't realize how strong it is until you spray too much of it and then it just overwhelms you. So um, I would caution you with this one. You may be going nose blind to it because it, it's stronger than you think is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's stronger than it may seem off the initial spray. So I usually go five, six sprays with this one and this one's pretty good. So Coach Blue is another really great one. Next one up we have is from the House of Banana Republic. This is Metal Rain. 
This is Banana Republic's take on Creed Silver Mountain Water. I do get a little bit of Millicium Imperial in there as well. Some of that saltiness does come across. I would say it's about maybe like 10% Millicium Imperial, 10% Himalaya, and then the 80% of Silver Mountain Water. It's kind of what you're gonna get here. Quality is excellent for the price that you pay for this. I think I paid $25 for this 100 ml, and it's really a steal at that price. Right now, it's probably my favorite in the Icon line, and it's got this airy nature to it, also very ozonic. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of a tropical feel to it. Um, just very pleasant, but not like a shower gel blue fragrance like some of these other ones may be. Uh, more of like a saltiness and sea breeze type of a thing going on here. Uh, a little bit metallic, obviously, too, as the name would suggest. Get your nose on it or get your nose on Silver Mountain Water if you want to see what this one smells like and you want to get an idea about it. Or maybe you just go ahead and you blind buy this one. And if you really like this profile, you go with Silver Mountain Water and you use this as an entry point. I think these cheaper fragrances are a great way to test out certain DNAs and that's a really good way to use them. Next one up we have here is Salvatore Ferragamo Aqua Essenziale Blue. Shout out TLTG. He's the one who put me and countless others onto this one. Really upscale fragrance. The Cipriol oil, I believe is the way it's pronounced, is what really makes this one stand out and gives it its character, its uniqueness, and really sets it apart from all the other blue fragrances out there. Another Alberto Marias masterpiece, the king of the freshies. Uh, he crushed it again with this one, and this one you can get at an affordable price, and it smells way more expensive than the price that you pay for it. Good performance and projection here, and really great cap that clicks into place here. Uh, you couldn't really hear it on that try. I'll, I'll try it again here. Well, I don't know, one more time. I'm not gonna do it after this. I don't know, you can't really hear it this time, but sometimes it really snaps and you can really hear it, but it really does click into place. You can easily hold this one from the cap. Um, what else can I say about this one? I really like the bottle. It looks really beautiful in the collection and it is a little bit more of a mature blue fragrance. It It's one that you could really wear to work as a work professional and that will last you throughout the whole day. And it does have this maturity about it. So maybe not so great for the teenagers, but if you're looking for a blue fragrance with a level of maturity that doesn't cost you much, Aqua Senziale Blue is gonna get the job done for you. It's a great everyday work fragrance. The next one up we have is from the house of Dolce Gabbana. This is Light Blue O Intense, another really great performer and projector here off my skin at least. It's got this lemon grapefruit combo that I wasn't a huge fan of it at first, but then it really grew on me. And now, you know, it's in my it's in my top five aquatics now. So really drastic change from the first time I smelled it until now. I'd say give yourself a couple wearings with this one, try it out a couple times, and you may find that it grows on you and that you enjoy it more as time goes on like, like I did. And another Alberto Marias masterpiece here um, has some similarities to the new Light Blue Summer Vibes, but this one does come across a little bit more marine, a little bit more salty. It has a little bit more character to it. It's maybe slightly more challenging, but it does have the best performance, at least on my skin, out of all the ones in the line. And it's the one that I recommend the most because you're getting the most bang for your buck. You can get this bottle, this 100 ml right now for 60 bucks. And I think it's really, really great at that price point. So. Uh, if you're looking for something with a high level of citrus, a very citric uh, lemon grapefruit type of a fragrance, this is going to be the best bet. Light blue, O oh, intense. It's going to last all day for you. Next one up we have is Masoni Wave. I feel like a broken record talking about this one, but it's worth talking about just because it's so great. I mean, we're in my top three right now. It smells like Chanel Lurum Sport and also Versace Pour Homme, if you're familiar with either of those. But this one... Don't pay more than $50 for this. That's the most I would say you would pay for 100 ml because I've seen this one going up in price a lot lately and I don't want you guys to get screwed over. I think $50 is like the max that you would pay for this one. This one used to go for like 35. So between 30 to $50, I think this one is worth getting at that price point. After $50, you know, you might as well just get the Chanel and be done with it. But this one actually I get the best performance out of all three of those that I mentioned. So it does have a more aquatic take compared to the other two. I think the Versace Pour Homme is more lemony and kind of boring to my nose at least. And the Chanel has more of a creaminess to it. So this one kind of straddles the line and it's the most aquatic of the bunch. Good performance and projection, all that. Nice magnetic cap here on this one. 
and it's a profile that really works well on the high heat very appealing very versatile another one that you could wear every day for work and it's a compliment puller i hate using that word but it is it really is i've gotten a lot of love with this particular fragrance and it's another really beautiful blue gradient bottle style that i really enjoy just to even look at all right we're into the top two the top two right here number two we have loam cologne blue and they tried really hard to misspell blue in every way that they can see it's not even ue and then they have an extra e in there as well so they really went the extra mile to make their own blue spelling unique um this one has a very nice citrus combo in there very fresh very appealing aquatic as you might think from the video of zonic all that doesn't have the best performance. I would say it's average. I actually get better performance than I hear a lot of other people say. A lot of people complain about the performance on this one, but I get a solid four or five hours. So for me, it's average, but it's just worth it because it just smells so damn good. It kind of removes the ginger, ginger that the Loam line is known for and replaces it with uh, geranium and with C notes. C notes is gonna be the main thing that you smell in this one. And that's the reason why it comes across so aquatic, but it's just a beautiful fragrance, guys. It's blind buy worthy, it's fantastic. It's one that if I could only keep a certain amount of fragrances, I would have a hard time letting go of this one because I love it so much. Great for everyday use, great for pretty much every single situation. Works well in the high heat. Uh, all year round you can rock this and really enjoy this uh, reflective cap that this one has too. So that's pretty cool. This bottle looks very nice. All right, you guys ready for the number one? The number one aquatic fragrance for me right now in my collection is Aqua de Jo Profundo, guys. Man, pulling on my heartstrings here talking about this one. If I could only keep one fragrance in my entire collection, and that would be a sad day if I had to do that, but I would probably keep this one because it's that good. It takes me right to the ocean. You get a nice minerality to it that you don't get with really anything else they they invented a new note that they use in this one that makes it smell it's give, it gives it that minerality so this one is a little bit love it or hate it either you really like the aqua de jo dna and you like that mineral touch that they add or you absolutely hate it and you're not a fan of it so i've seen both sides of the aisle where people absolutely love it it's their favorite in the line like it is for me and i've also seen the other side where people are just they're not about this mineral smell that it has Smells like waves kind of crashing against rocks in the sea and uh, whatever smell that would emanate or that you would imagine comes from that is what you get with this. So put a healthy dent in there already. Not sure if you can see that, but I'm about halfway through this bottle. And as soon as I get low, I'm going to have to get another one because I love it so much. But um, a lot of Alberto Maria's creations here, but rightfully so. The guy really knows how to make a great fresh aquatic fragrance. And this one is no different. Aqua de Jo Profundo. My favorite in the line so far. Got to get my new nose on the uh, new parfum and see what I think about that one. But as far as what's kind of been out and about for a while, I ended up choosing this one over Profumo because this one is a little bit more versatile than Profumo for me and is a little bit more youthful, kind of fits my age range and preferences a little bit more. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I sure enjoyed talking about this kind of stuff with you guys. You know, part of feeling great is smelling great. And if you smell great, you take care of yourself. And, you know, it's just one little check mark in the, in the box of things that you need to do to, you know, be healthy. And a great fragrance is a part of that. So hopefully I gave you guys some good value here, uh, a little bit of information and good suggestions overall. Let me know what is your favorite aquatic fragrance that I did not mention. I'd love to hear about it. Always love to chat with you guys and hear uh, what you're wearing and what you think about the current list that I made. I'll see you on the next one at the Fragrance Fraternity. We are growing strong. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care.